We're now reporting from the Digital Computer Laboratory at MIT. With us is Jay Forrester, director of the laboratory. Mr. Forrester, what part of the laboratory are we in right now? This is the uh, control room for the Whirlwind Digital Computer. Is this the entire machine right here? No, the Whirlwind uh, Computer itself is in the uh, room next door. What's uh, Whirlwind used for? Whirlwind is uh, used for scientific and engineering research and for uh, studies on uh, various military problems. It's uh, one of the most uh, versatile and fastest machines that's been built and uh, will carry out about 25,000 uh, arithmetic operations a second. There are two main output devices. One is the FlexoWriter equipment, which produces either a typewritten page or a punched paper tape, which may be later used to produce a printed page. Magnetic tape can be used to record information at high speed for later printing. This increases efficiency since the printing can be done while the computer is engaged on another problem. The second output medium is a cathode ray oscilloscope. Whirlwind was long the only digital computer to use this rapid means for graphical or numerical recording. Here the oscilloscope is recording point by point the solution to a very simple problem. The differential equation representing the motion of a ball bouncing on a horizontal plane and falling through a hole. Plotted results are recorded on film by a camera attached to a second oscilloscope. Here are some results recorded by the camera. A plot of a seventh degree polynomial. 2,000 digits recorded on one frame in 10 seconds. Bouncing ball conception was originally not intended to be a game. It was an enhanced visual representation of programs already functioning on the system. Whirlwind's computer purpose, after all, was to track the trajectory of airborne objects, so displaying curves was a must. However, it has potential to be a game and continued evolving from a demo to a game. The addition of a hole in the floor of the computer screen gives the user an objective, and this was to introduce the ball in the hole. Many people believe that this is the first video game by complete definition, but the lack of an exact date for this modification makes this difficult to prove. 